I'm Dan York and I'm here at Enoch 6 with Yaramir Talir from Nick.cz who gave a presentation earlier today about not DNS. So Yaramir, what's not all about? Not DNS is uh, another open source uh, DNS server. Uh, you can uh, think about it as an alternative to bind an NSD. So uh, anybody who has own domain and run DNS server and uh, he wants to have um, some diversity among different uh, software, different uh, systems uh, on, uh, for DNS. Uh, he can use NodeDNS uh, next to bind or next to NSD as DNS server. Okay, so why should somebody, if they've got bind and NSD, why should they consider using NOT? You know that Every system has bugs, so it's much better to have different uh, software in parallel. So if there is a bug in one, one software, uh, you still have a, another one running. And of course there are some differences, like uh, everybody is trying to uh, have a software which is faster, qu fast enough and uh, has a, uh, less consum less memory. So uh, these different softwares have some unique features. and. Uh, uh, for example, Bind has a long, uh, long problem with online uh, uh, updating of zones. If you have, uh, if you have many, many domains, many zones, uh, you cannot uh, immediately add new one or remove the old one. NSD uh, solved this feature, but uh, NSD has some other issues. So we put, uh, we put the best uh, of both of these servers trying to create some uh, unique system. Uh, which is not. So uh, we think that uh, we are trying to fill the gap between uh, BIND and NSD. Cool. Now you also mentioned in your talk that it has great support for DNSSEC and Dane. Can you talk a little bit about what it does there? Uh, the support for DNSSEC and for Dane is uh, right now uh, in, the, in the field of uh, that uh, no DNS is capable of uh, providing uh, resource uh, or uh, DNS records for uh, DNSSEC. Uh, and uh, for Dane, like uh, TLSA record. So if you have a zone file containing these Dane and DNS records, uh, you, can, uh, you can use NodeDNS uh, for, uh, for, this, for these features. Okay, so it, the audience for us, obviously I could run it from my own domains on my own server, but is it, is it scalable for network operators who might do large scale? Sure, sure. We are running NodeDNS for a .cz domain, which is quite a big, big zone. We have more than one million of domains. So. Uh, the, at the beginning, the main focus for NodeDNS was, uh, was for uh, uh, TLD operators and for uh, root zone operators. But the other side of uh, our focus was uh, registrars and web hosting providers, which uh, have uh, many, many, many small zones. So I think that both sides of, uh, of the market uh, can uh, take advantage of NodeDNS. Cool. So if somebody wants to go and, and check it out, download it, where can they go? Definitely, we have a website, www.dns.cz. You can go there. Uh, we have uh, uh, binary packages for uh, many major uh, Linux operating systems like Ubuntu, Fedora, and uh, some, uh, or definitely we have uh, source uh, code there, so you can download it and compile and use it uh, as you wish. So go there. There is uh, definitely a link for, uh, for uh, uh, mailing list so you can uh, subscribe to mailing list you can ask questions and uh, our developers respond uh, quite uh, fast so I think that every problem they will be ha happy to solve great well thank you and the rest of the team at nick.cz for doing this and for creating this for all of us and I will encourage everyone to go to not knot dot dns dot cz to uh, go check out the software and download it thanks Thank you.